doing the score for Pong. The score is going to go somewhere on the frame where the game is played. In this case, this is the one for me. You go get text and make it dynamic. It may, by default, be static or input, but you need dynamic. And I'll put it up here. One thing that you may want to change, may not, is to put a border around where the score is so you can see it even when it's not selected. But in this case, it's probably just as well to have it not visible, have the frame not visible. And we will put in the starting value. So let's say that I'm doing lives, and so I start lives at 3. I can make it a different color and a different size. But here's the important part var for variable. We'll call this lives. Into the code we go. Shift enter and think to ourselves where do the lives go down? And they go down when at this point we have go to and lose. But we'll just hang on to that for a second because we'll have to go over the bottom one, two, three times in order to lose. So if the ball goes below y of 350, we'll say lives minus minus. Let's play it and see if this works. It's a little slow, so we'll purposefully miss the ball and let it go below, and it works. Uh, the one issue right now is that the ball continues to go down if we missed it, and so does the score. So what we're going to have to do is when the ball goes below the place where the score goes down, we'll need to have it reset. Maybe we'll just put it back up into the middle. It's up to you where it goes. So the lines go down and the ball is repositioned. The ball is Y in particular. Dot underscore Y. It's repositioned up. It doesn't really matter. You can change this as you wish. But immediately, then when it goes over, okay, the lines go down, but it goes above 350. So the lines don't continue to go down. And we'll keep our eye on the 3 in the corner, which looks like it should be a little bit bigger. We'll let it go below 350, and then it goes up there. And I guess you want it to be a little bit higher than that, but you get the idea. Well, I might as well put it, put it at 0. We'll put the ball's Y at 0. Now, that's all well and good if it works, but sometimes it doesn't. And I don't know the answer to why not. I just know the solution. So what you can do, if that doesn't work, is have an internal variable here and call it lives how about in code. And have the lives in code also start at 3. And instead of having the lives go down, you have the lives on or in code go down. And immediately after that, you do lives, which is our variable on the stage, is assigned lives in code. So this should work the same way. And again, don't do this if you don't have to. If you can just do it the simple way that I first showed you, then by all means, leave it that way. But there, it does work the same way. And we're good. I don't have my right or left side done yet. So if you can do it with one variable, great. If you need an internal variable as well, then you can do it that way. I thought there was something else that I needed to say about this. Oh, yes, right. Well, yeah, we're un unfinished because we no longer have the uh, game over. So we'll just, you could probably figure this out, but and you don't have to watch this any further. This is all you needed. But yeah, after the uh, lives goes below one, then we go to game over. So inside of this if, we're going to put another if. If lives or lives in code, in this case, goes below one, which means we have zero lives, then we will. And I got to be careful here. I put an open brace. I need to put a closed brace. Take away the commenting. Yeah, then we'll go to you lose. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Well, no, it'll play out. It plays out. Make sure it works. And uh, feel free to stop watching. But uh, my life goes down to. And this won't take that long, down to 1. And when it goes below, oh, well, that's not going to work because I don't have my 
left side. Now let's do a quick review. And one. And zero, so we go. And we probably, okay, one other thing, we probably want to remove the ball when we go to lose. So uh, you lose, and I'm not even sure you've seen this before. Remove movie clip ball. I'll speed this up. So my voice just really fast. Anyway, now we should go to you lose. And just, we could remove the paddle too, I suppose. And that will be it. Ta-da.